Hello, Willard Wildcats. Today, I am still thinking about the weather. And scientists study the weather, and they make predictions about the weather. They will give us a weather forecast that tells us what the weather should be like tomorrow, or next week, or for the next few days. And the scientists who study weather are called meteorologists. Now that's a big word. That is a word that is hard to get through your mouth the first couple of times you say it. So I thought we can practice it together. I'm going to say it, and then I want you to say it. Meteorologist. Meteorologist. Great. So meteorologists study the weather, and like all scientists, they use tools. They use measuring tools to measure the weather around us. And in this video today, I want to share this measuring tool with you. This is called a thermometer. A thermometer measures how hot or cold something is. And there's a bunch of different kinds of thermometers. This is a thermometer that we have in our house that we use to take the temperature of our bodies. And the way it works is you take it out of its covering. And this part here, you put in your mouth, you put it under your tongue, and then you wait. And eventually it beeps. And on this screen right here, there'll be a number. And that number is your temperature. This thermometer helps us understand if we are healthy or if we might have a fever and our body temperature is too high. Here's another thermometer we use at my house. This is a thermometer I use in my kitchen. In this round part here, I point that at what I want to take the temperature of, and then I push this button. And when I push that button, it measures the temperature from far away, and then a number shows up on this screen, and the number is the temperature of the object. And this is great to use in the kitchen because sometimes things are very hot in the kitchen and you don't want to get too close to them, you don't want to touch them. So this thermometer can take the temperature of something from pretty far away. But in my science room, these are the thermometers that we use. So this thermometer is uh, one that you might have at your house. Maybe you have it outside your window, or maybe you have one in your garden. It's made of plastic, so it's pretty strong to be outside. And if you look up close at this thermometer, you'll see there's numbers on it, and there's different numbers on either side. Well, here's the tricky thing about temperature. There's more than one way to measure the temperature of something. And so here in the United States, we measure the temperature of things in degrees Fahrenheit. So if you look up close at this thermometer, there's an F. It means all the numbers on this side tell us the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. There's another way that's called Celsius. That's what the C is over here. This is to help us understand degrees Celsius. Now also, if you look at this thermometer, there's this part in the center. It's kind of glass, and then there's a red part down here. And if I turn it just right, you have to be looking at it. Oh, do you see? If you're looking at it just right, you can see there's a red line. There's something red that goes from the bottom all the way up to some point. There's a red liquid in here. And depending on the temperature, this level will go up higher, or it will go down lower. Now sometimes students wonder, well that's a red liquid, what is it? There's only so many red liquids. Some students wonder, well is it lava? It's not lava. Lava is too hot. I would not be able to have lava in my thermometer. Some people see that red liquid and they think, oh, is it blood? But no, it's not blood. What it is, it's a type of like a rubbing alcohol with red food coloring in it. That's all it is. And when it gets hot, this line goes up higher. When it gets cold, this line goes down lower. And what, wherever the top of that red line is, whatever number is close to that top line, that is what the temperature is. 
Now let's look at these numbers here. In fact, let me show you this thermometer. This is the one that we use in my science room. This is the one that I would have you use. Now you can see this side has the letter C, so we're going to look at the numbers on this side with the letter F. I'm going to cover up some of those with my finger. So there's numbers that start at zero, and then it counts by tens. My friends, have you been counting by tens in your kindergarten class? Let's count by tens together. Let's see if we can count all the way up. Zero, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred, one hundred and ten. 120. So this can read temperatures all the way from zero degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you look at where the line is, the line is about halfway between 70 and 80. It's just above, cover up those numbers, remember, it's just above the number 70. So here in my house, where I'm filming this right now, the temperature is just above 70 degrees. And that's interesting at all, but it's also interesting to see that red line move. I'm going to move the camera now because I'm going to show you um, some water I have. I have some different water that we're going to put this thermometer in so that we can see the red line move. All right, Willard Wildcats, I have here two cups of water. One contains water that is w -w warm, W-A-R-M, warm. So this water, it's not hot, but it's a little warm. It's warmer than the air in the room. This water is k -k cool. Cool, cool. The water in this cup is cool. It's not cold, it's not freezing water, but it's a little cooler than room temperature. And I'm going to take the thermometer. Let's look at it real quick. So there's the temperature that it is now. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it in the warm water. It's a little tricky because I want to make sure you can see it. So there it is in the warm water. Do you see the red? Do you see how it's moving? So this looks, it looks like it stopped. So this is over 90 degrees. Ooh, if I'm patient, I wonder, do you think it'll make it up to 100 degrees? Let's see. Remember, we're looking at the numbers on the side that my fingers are on. So the temperature of this water is almost 100 degrees. That's warm water. Now, I'm going to take it out of the warm water. Can you see? It's going to start to go down, but now we're going to put it in the cool water. Oh, look at it move so fast. When the thermometer is in the cool water, the level goes down, down, down. Someone called on the phone, so I'm going to show you again. The number is going down, down, down. You see how far down it's going? It's under 60. It's lower than 60. Wow. So the temperature of the cool water is just below 60 degrees. Do you want to see it go back up again? Here it is in the warm water. If we take it and put it in the cool water, there it goes down. So the numbers that are closer to the bottom of the thermometer, those are the numbers for things that are cooler. The numbers that are near the top of the thermometer are for things that are hotter. So cooler numbers are down here. Warmer numbers are up here. When you put this thermometer in something that is warm, the red goes up. When you put the thermometer in something that is cool, the red goes down. So I want you to move your bodies now. 
like you were the red in the thermometer. If you're the red in the thermometer, and I put you in something warm, what direction does the red go? That's right. Red goes up. The red would go up in something that is warmer. And now if I take the thermometer and put it in something that is cooler, what happens to the red in the thermometer? Show me with your bodies. That's right. It goes down. Well, thank you, my friends, for joining me today to think about thermometers. I'm going to have another video showing you some other weather tools that I hope you take a look at. But I enjoyed thinking about thermometers with you today. I'll see you next time.